I hope they learn that they really need to just treasure and value themselves more than everything else around them. That's what I've learned over time. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down the former child stars who have gone public about their difficult paths. What's in a name? Well, in Barrymore, there's a lot. It's a dynasty, big drinkers and brilliant actors. Number 10, Tatum O'Neill. A huge star in the 1970s, Tatum O'Neill made history at the age of 10 as the youngest person ever to win an Academy Award for her role in Paper Moon. I want my $200. Her early success was the beginning of a tumultuous journey marked by substance use disorder. In addition to her iconic roles, such as in The Bad News Bears, O'Neill faced difficulties that later became publicised, including a 2008 arrest for purchasing illegal stimulants. I've been to probably a million meetings, and I feel like it has like given me the foundation. Like I'm, I, I love, I love recovery. Despite her challenges, Tatum O'Neill has been candid about her efforts to overcome her issues, becoming an advocate for recovery and sharing her story to reduce stigma. I felt morally bankrupt. I felt morally less than. Number nine, Haley Joel Osment. I see. Born in 1988, Osmond gained widespread acclaim for his remarkable and iconic performance in M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense, earning an Academy Award nomination as a child actor. His early success led to big challenges as he navigated the transition from a young star to adulthood. In 2006, Osmond was involved in a car accident, bringing public attention to his plight. Since then, he has been committed to sobriety, using his experiences to raise awareness about the unique challenges faced by young actors in the entertainment industry. I honestly believe that there are more uh, uh, positive outcomes and there are negative ones and obviously we hear about the, the really terrible stories more than we do the good ones. Despite the setbacks, Osman continued his acting career with roles in various films and TV shows. And I'm a big fan, man. Thanks. Number eight, Mackenzie Phillips. The daughter of famed musician John Phillips of The Mamas and the Poppers, Phillips gained fame for her role as Julie Cooper on the sitcom One Day at a Time. But Mackenzie tragically was subjected to very disturbing family dynamics that contributed to her prolonged battle with substance use. In 2009, she made headlines by disclosing on national television that she had an inappropriate long-term relationship with her father, adding a layer of unsettling complexity to her story. This happened over time. It didn't happen every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, it didn't happen every week, mm -hmm. but it certainly happened and it happened enough times. Phillips has since become an outspoken advocate for substance use disorder awareness, using her platform to encourage understanding and compassion for those facing similar challenges. I chose to hold steady. I chose to, to hold the space for the truth. Number seven, Jodie Sweeten. This former young star is best known for her role as Stephanie Tanner on the beloved sitcom Full House. Dad, I promise I won't let you down. Please let me do it. Please, please, please. After the show's conclusion, Sweeten faced well-publicized struggles with illegal substances, leading to periods of rehabilitation and recovery. Despite these challenges, Sweeten emerged with resilience and determination. After a while, I realized that, you know, I just, I couldn't do this anymore. I was hurting a lot of people that I loved. I was hurting myself, and um, I just really had to, to come clean about it. Beyond her acting career, she has become an advocate for recovery sharing her experiences to destigmatize the issue and inspire others on their paths to healing. Sweeten has continued to work in the entertainment industry, participating in various projects. Thank you, family who would cheer for me even if I stunk. <laughs> Number six, Amanda Bynes. Bynes, born in 1986, rose to prominence as a star on Nickelodeon's All That and The Amanda Show. Thanks, my name's Amanda! 
known for her comedic talents, Bynes faced highly publicized mental health and substance use issues in the late 2000s and 2010s. Her erratic behavior and legal troubles became a focal point of media attention, prompting concerns about her well-being. A series of driving violations, disturbing tweets, even a hospitalization under a psychiatric hold. In 2013, Bynes underwent psychiatric treatment, acknowledging her challenges and embarking on a journey towards recovery. Bynes has used her experiences to raise awareness about and contribute to efforts aimed at reducing the stigma surrounding mental health. Telling Paper Magazine she's not afraid of the future, saying, quote, I've been through the worst and came out the other end and survived it. It's only up from here. Number five, Justin Bieber. Still a musical A-lister in 2024, the Canadian superstar catapulted to international fame as a teenager with hits like Baby and Sorry. Sorry. His meteoric rise to the heights of fame was accompanied by intense scrutiny and pressure, contributing to his battle with substance use. In 2014, Bieber faced legal issues and was arrested for DUI, marking a turning point in his public image. Bieber has since been transparent about his journey to sobriety, using his platform to advocate for wellness. It just got scary. I basically said to myself, oh my God, if you're real, you get me through this season of stopping these pills and stuff, and if you do, I'll do the rest of the work. His openness about the pressures of fame has contributed to a broader conversation about the well-being of young celebrities and the importance of prioritizing mental health. There's people that are going through it with you. Life is worth living. Number four, Lindsay Lohan. Born in 1986, the iconically red-headed Lohan began her career as a model before eventually gaining widespread recognition for her roles in films such as The Parent Trap and Mean Girls. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Lohan's well-documented struggles became apparent in the mid-2000s, leading to publicized legal issues and rehab stints. You're a dangerous girl, aren't you? Mm. Depends on what you consider dangerous. Despite setbacks, she expressed a desire for personal growth and a return to acting. Lohan's journey serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of early stardom and the ongoing process of self-discovery and recovery. And Vanity Fair, Lindsay says, quote, I had people sit me down and say, you're going to die if you don't take care of yourself. In recent years, Lohan has explored various ventures, including a return to stardom in the hit Netflix movie Falling for Christmas. Number 3. Drew Barrymore Barrymore became a Hollywood icon with her breakout role in E.T. the Extraterrestrial at the age of seven. Her early success was accompanied by a turbulent childhood marked by substance use. Barrymore's journey to sobriety began in her teenage years, and she has since become an advocate for recovery. Do you feel now that you are finally living the life that you want? Without any question, yes. I am so glad that I get to live the life I have. Beyond overcoming her demons, she has successfully rebuilt her career, starring in numerous films and establishing herself as a producer and TV host. This is all for you. Barrymore's resilience stands as a testament to the possibility of redemption and personal growth in the face of early difficulties. Number two, Macaulay Culkin. I made my family disappear. The cherub-faced Culkin, born in 1980, achieved worldwide fame for his role as Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. Culkin's later struggles were intertwined with the pitfalls of child stardom, leading to publicized incidents and arrests. 
despite the challenges, he has undergone a transformation, distancing himself from past troubles and focusing on a healthier lifestyle. You know, I'm actually, usually for the most part, I'm pretty put together. Like, yeah. I'm, you know, yeah, like I, I got a good life now. Culkin's experiences highlight the importance of addressing mental health in the entertainment industry and serve as a reminder of the enduring impact of early fame. In recent years, Culkin has made occasional appearances in films and television projects and was honoured in 2023 with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Demi Lovato one of the biggest young stars of her generation, Lovato gained fame on Barney and Friends before rising to prominence with Disney Channel's Camp Rock and her own series, Sunny with a Chance. Lovato's battles with substance use and health issues have been well documented, including a highly publicised medical emergency in 2018. Her commitment to sobriety and openness about her battles have positioned her as a powerful voice for mental health awareness. There were some things that nobody knew. I was depressed at a very, very young age, fascinated with death, wondering what it would be like to have a funeral. Lovato actively uses her platform to break through stigma, emphasizing the importance of seeking help and fostering empathy for those facing similar challenges. I don't think there is a finish line. I think you just keep going. Beyond her acting career, Lovato is celebrated for her successful music career, activism and advocacy. We need to send a simple message to our nation's leaders. Mental health matters and needs and must be taken seriously. What do you think must be the hardest aspect of being a child star? Let us know in the comments. I never knew why I would think so darkly. And it took me a long time to figure out what was actually going on. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.